So welcome to this video. My name is Raj, we are founder of Coding Compile, and today we are here with Martin from MRN to talk about this robot bartender. So Martin, please introduce yourself and what you're doing here. Hey Raj, thank you for coming for us. Yes, I'm Martin, and we are a special machinery production uh, uh, company. Okay. We are a, a lot of software-based uh, stuff that we do. So. Um, here in our robot bartender, we have our showcase where we show every stuff we do in our company. Mechanical okay. construction, software development, okay. um, crazy stuff like also uh, speech control with Alexa and stuff like okay. that. We have a little IoT stuff over there. You can see our, our uh, dashboard which okay. we created on our own. All right. And the connection is with MQTT. MQTT. Yeah, okay, that's correctly. great. Yeah. So how is the message going from Alexa to the robot? Yeah, if you can show us the process. Process. Also, also uh, with the MQTT protocol, oh, okay. and uh, it goes to a Raspberry Pi. The whole system is programmed on a Raspberry Pi with CodeSys platform. And oh, really? also the safety system, wow. the visualization is also running on Two recipes because wow. one, one is not enough for the okay. visualization. And I see that it's a Grafana dashboard. Looks yeah, this is a Grafana, Grafana dashboard. Grafana. Okay. Okay. Also connecting with the recipe and oh, okay. stuff like so that. What so, what kind of cocktails the robot can make? What kind of rings can make? Uh, we are free to decide whatever you want to do the robot because it's only a recipe that is in the machinery. And Okay. I was quite intrigued by the screen that you have here because yeah. it's transparent glass. So what, yeah. is, what is the screen? It's it's a look through touch panel, okay. forty eight inches, okay. and um, we also wanted to show what is possible. This is only also a showcase what is possible, uh, but I think it's perhaps in in the future it will become a more more uh, interesting stuff for for machineries that you can have a look into and step through it. We will see what, what the future brings, yeah. but we only wanted to mention what is what is possible. So when the robot is giving me a drink, how can I tip the robot? You can the robot tip with the with the Alexa. Yeah, you have this PayPal that I can tip. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just, also, ki just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So thank you for your information about your product. Yeah, I'm sure. really happy to see it. Mm -hmm. And I will try a drink shortly. Right now I'm with Stefan, who is going to tell us about this X planner. So Stefan, please introduce us this crazy device. Sure, love to. So this is the back of X planner okay. that we've already used in some of our customers' projects. Okay. And in in all situations where normal um, devices that that carry uh, the objects or the customers' product are not sufficient enough, okay. we love to use the X planner. Because okay. we have uh, uh, some benefits that I'll show you now. Okay. Maybe as you can see, uh, our cocktail cups are like yeah. flying in the air through right. the magnetic field, of okay. course. That's uh, that simple as it is. But we can lift them up in a different position. Okay. So this could be helpful. All right. To, to if you have, for example, a robot or another device that that will do an assembly for. And uh, how much height it can go up? What's the maximum like, flight height? The maximum is like from zero to 1.5 centimeters, so 15 millimeters uh, right. of rice. And how do you program this part, which is taking right now? Like, you just have the, the software solution uh, where, where our uh, software engineers can program, um, okay. like the tour that that uh, the objects need to, to do, um, the speed that they can do, for example. Okay. Um, and also, in depending on the weight uh, okay. of, of the, the part they are carrying. Great. Yeah. So you're offering these solutions to your customer who wants some motion using magnetic levitation. Yes, definitely. That's great. One, one other uh, very good part is that you have like no wear and tear. That's true. Also, if you have, uh, um, if you need, uh, like, if it needs to be very clean, uh, not much like dust or or grease from okay. from from roller. Uh, roller balls and stuff like this, right. then this is also uh, the better solution. Great. Yeah. Looks very nice. And yeah. I like the way you showed how you can mix that ring, I believe, and it's rotating, right? Yeah. Great. Yeah, we, we, we can't go maximum speed because uh, otherwise uh, it would spill. Yeah. So yeah, back of a good solution for us true. within uh, the rest of our automation. All right. Thank you for your time, Stefan. Thanks for your discussion. Thank you.